Let's start by plotting the given triangle on the Argand plane. We have the origin at the point O and the point A represented by the complex number Z. Point B also lies on the Argand plane and is represented by the complex number Z times e raised to the power i alpha. Now we complete the triangle by joining OA, OB and AB. Note that the angle between OA and OB is equal to alpha and that the distance OA is equal to the absolute value of Z and the distance OB is equal to the absolute value of Z times e raised to the power i alpha. Now the absolute value of Z times e raised to the power i alpha is equal to the absolute value of Z times the absolute value of e raised to the power i alpha which is equal to the absolute value of Z times the absolute value of cos alpha plus i sin alpha which is equal to the absolute value of Z. Therefore OB is also equal to the absolute value of Z. Therefore, in triangle OAB, the side OA is equal to the side OB. And therefore, if we drop a perpendicular from the point O onto the base AB of the triangle, let the foot of the perpendicular be M, then the line OM will bisect angle AOB in this triangle. Also, the foot of the perpendicular M will bisect the side AB of the triangle. Now in right angle triangle OMA, note that OM is equal to the absolute value of Z times cos alpha upon 2 and AM is equal to the absolute value of Z times sin alpha upon 2. Now BM is equal to AM as determined above and this is equal to the absolute value of Z times sin alpha upon 2. Therefore AB which is equal to AM plus BM is equal to 2 times the absolute value of Z times sin alpha upon 2. Therefore the area of triangle OAB is equal to half of the base which is AB times the perpendicular which is OM and using the results above we get the area is equal to half of 2 times absolute value of Z times sin alpha upon 2 times absolute value of Z times cos alpha upon 2 and this can be written as half of absolute value of Z square times 2 sin alpha upon 2 times cos alpha upon 2. And this is equal to half of the square of absolute value of Z times sin alpha. And this is the required answer.